What's up, nation? Let's call it right now. I'm going to call it right now. Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke Skywalker will die in the new Star Wars movies. Not all at the same time. I don't know if they're all going to die at the same time in the first, in the movie that's coming out right now, or in one of the other movies. But eventually, bet you anything, all three of these original characters are going to die one way or another. Why? Because basically this new Star Wars movie is the new generation for people. It makes perfect sense for Han Solo, Princess Leia, and Luke to die. Just like in the old Star Wars movie where Obi-Wan Kenobi sacrificed himself so Luke can, can go off and have merry adventures. The old ways are gone, the new ways are in. So why not do this again where like Luke sacrifices himself. I bet you anything Luke will sacrifice himself in one of these movies. Han Solo will probably die in battle going out like a fucking champ that he is. I don't know about Chewbacca. I think Chewbacca could live or they probably could kill him off too. But of course, you know damn well that the hardcore mega fan fanboys will lose their shit over there saying like, oh no, no, you can't kill these people off. It's part of the lore of Star Wars. You can't do that. Judas, Judas, blasphemy. Shut the fuck up. God. Seriously. These mega fanboys. I swear they're retarded with every other movie. He's like, oh my God, Harrison Ford is so old in Indiana Jones 4. You know that was the entire point to the fucking movie, right? Am I the only one that actually enjoyed Indiana Jones 4? Because it actually made sense for Harrison Ford to be old in that movie and have a son? Well, of course I didn't like Shia LaBeouf being in it. But, hell, no one likes Shia LaBeouf. And the whole fridge scene, that was just retarded as shit. But yeah, people lose their shit over the little things. So like I said, it would make perfect sense for all three of these characters to die. So the new generation, I don't even know these guys' names yet, like the black stormtrooper that everyone's still fucking racist about. It's like, how the fuck can you have a black guy in Star Wars? What? Bill Lando Calrissian doesn't count? He was black? You all forgot about him? Yeah, so construction outside the window. That's what happens. But yeah, people losing their shit. like, oh my God, there's a black guy in this movie. He's like, oh my God, it's like fucking racist. I don't know his name yet. I don't know the new characters, the bad guy's name yet, because they're all new. Whoever the new girl is. But like I said, this is the new generation for Star Wars. So why not? And like in my other video where I talked about people freaking out over Toy Story 4. New generation, people. Our time has is over with, man. And plus, this is J.J. Abrams directing and producing, I think, this, these movies. You know, he's about to kill a few motherfuckers from the original trilogy. Because J.J. Abrams is known to do that. That and lots of lens flares. Be ready for a bunch of lens flares in these movies. You're going to be fucking blind. And a lot of backstory. Oh, I forgot about the backstories. Yeah. Bet you it. It's like, yeah, the new characters. Get ready for some flashbacks. So yeah, to the extreme fanboys, you need to calm the fuck down. If this does happen where Luke, Leia, and Han die, take it easy. How the fuck? You know it's gonna happen. Just let it be. New generation is already here. Our time is up, even though we're not that old. But we feel that we're old. But this is a new generation. Lots of, sh lots of shit happens fast. But anyways, what do you guys think? Will you, do you think all the OG characters will die? And eventually I would like to see Billy D. Williams reprise his role as Lando come back. And he'll probably die too. Because like I said, killing off motherfuckers left and right. Plus I think C-3PO and RDD2 are going to be destroyed somewhere in between. Because they got that little fucking little robot, BB-2, BB-8, fucking eight, whatever his name is. The thing that looks like CGI, but it's not really CGI, running around a motherfucker. So yeah, 
I should have ended this video like a minute ago, but hell, I'm going on a tangent right now. But anyways, Humanoid Nation, tell me what you guys think about this. Take it easy, guys. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye.